Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I am Alejandra and I have a really cool video for you guys today. If you guys are loving my makeup, then you guys are going to totally enjoy this video because that is what it is about. Um, I used a lot of different products to achieve this look. I initially wanted to gear this towards more of a transgender kind of crowd um, because I know that sometimes it can be very hard to find makeup that works with our skin texture and our skin and not only that, also how to soften a lot more masculine features. This look is actually very universal and even though there is a lot of things that my transgender sisters I put out there for you, um, definitely I think everyone can take something from this video. I definitely tried to really show how I do my everyday makeup and tips and techniques that I feel like really worked for me. And now that makeup has advanced so much, it is a lot easier to really hide a lot of I don't want to say flaws, but definitely things that might make us a little bit more self-conscious or things that we might just not want to put out there. So definitely keep watching if you are interested in how to recreate this look. I would love to thank I Love Sarai. Um, I know her as Karen. A lot of you guys might know her as I Love Sarai, but she literally has hooked me up with most of what I have. And that is really, truly the only way that I could have really even done this. I mean, I had a lot of stuff prior, but I mean, it just really helps when you have everything tools-wise and makeup wise so thank you so much karen i love you girl this is a pretty easy simple makeup that i'm going to show you guys today so first things first we're going to go ahead and moisturize i'm going in with it's um bye bye redness this is super great for sensitive skin so this is going to be perfect for anybody who tends to get a little bit red i know that my skin after hormones has definitely changed a lot it's going to really help give the skin a little bit more of a natural look when you go to put on the foundation it's also going to help just really plump up the skin a little bit more so that it gives it a little bit more of a healthy look to it um you want to make sure you get everywhere i always make sure to get my neck especially this scar gotta get rid of it so next thing we want to go in and do is we want to go in with our primer i'm using the professional um primer by benefit my brother's girlfriend i love sarai i'll go ahead and tag her was actually the face for this um not that long ago it's really cool to have somebody you know really close that is a big in the makeup industry because you can definitely learn a lot from them but i'm gonna go ahead and do a little trick that she taught me and she likes to kind of pat this into her skin i think that it's a brilliant idea because if you're just kind of smearing it around you're kind of just like pushing the product around whereas this um primers are supposed to really even out texture give you a smoother texture which is most important because i think that's one of the main things that um sometimes i could face is that my skin can look a little rough even after makeup so um it doesn't help that i have facial hair i haven't shaved in i want to say maybe two days a day maybe but i'm already starting to get this really dark shadow which is so annoying you guys have no idea i seriously hate shaving so next we're gonna go in with our eyebrows i'm like looking at my eyebrows and i'm just thinking how horrible they look and i totally forgot that i should probably tweeze them before oh. so um i'm gonna go in and attack these eyebrows i like doing my eyebrows before i do my foundation sometimes i do it opposite ways it doesn't really matter it just depends on what the um the look you're trying to execute. I'm gonna go in with Brow List by JCat Beauty. I started using this the other day and I just really loved it because you barely use any product and it seriously stays on all day and it gives you this really nice coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush that it came with. It actually is really great because it has a little spoolie at the end, which I really love because I love brushing my brows to kind of get them in place before I even go in and um, define them. I also love using a brow gel. I love giving myself typically a like very 70s bushy brow. So I'll like get the inner corner section and kind of not spike them, but kind of brush the hair inward. So it gives you this really full kind of wild look. Um, but I'm going to go in and go ahead and show you guys. So you want to make sure you don't use too crazy much product because it really helps um, give you a more natural look when you could build it up. So I'm going to brush my hair out of the way. And then, like I said, I like starting off in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and I feel like with being transgender and having already such masculine features, um, it really helps to not do my eyebrows and my makeup so intense because it tends to soften me up a little bit more. I think that's the key to doing makeup when you're trans is really doing a very soft, kind of toned down version. My makeup looks best when I do it more on the natural side. And I just totally feel like it's a lot more simple and it's a lot less time consuming too. So to be honest, I don't even mind it. And I still look hella cute. So you could either stop here or you could do um, the concealer to kind of clean it up. I like doing the concealer, especially if I'm going to go somewhere and like just I really need to be stunning. I definitely love giving a very precise brow. I think it really makes somebody's face. I really highly recommend getting your eyebrows done prior to this. Um, I went to get my eyebrows threaded about two, three weeks ago. I want to say even like maybe two weeks ago, to be honest. But I tend to kind of keep it up after. Obviously, not really. But um I tend to keep it up after. I don't really like going so consistently just because I feel that if I go too frequently, my eyebrows tend to start getting thinner and thinner and that's just not cute. Like, I'm not trying to be Pamela Anderson, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like the trick to drawing in the bra as well is literally, I mean, obviously I'm talking and I have to breathe, but I feel like if you don't breathe, you get a lot more precision. I don't know what it is. I feel like not breathing is the, the, the trick. 
but don't want none of y'all passing out on me, okay? So, so go ahead and brush the center part the most aggressively because it doesn't even matter if it gets everywhere because we're going to clean it up in a second. We just want to make sure that the tail ends are nice and defined because it really helps give it a cleaner look. So next I'm going to go with NYX HD Concealer. This is in the shade CW04.5. Um, I tend to get it a little tiny bit lighter. I like applying it to the back of my hand just so that I can really measure out how much I'm using and I'm not overdoing it. I'm also using Max 242 brush. I love using it. This one's a little bit busted, but I love that it has this kind of like a rounded edge and it's nice and flat. So it gives you that really nice control to carve out that brow and to really help define it and make it a lot cleaner, to be honest. I think this is really what makes or breaks um, your eyebrows. I mean, this looks good, but watch this. So I always like starting off at the end again, just because your product is going to be the most saturated at the beginning because we just picked up the product but definitely you want to apply at the brow bone first and then kind of work your way up into your um your brow just so that we're not overdoing the product and then kind of trying to save ourselves after we're just finishing up our brows now and we want to make sure that make sure that we blend and blur out all of like you could totally see up here how it's a little bit more lighter but i'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender and kind of blah 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 okay okay i'm looking fucking fierce okay so good enough so now that our eyebrows are done i'm gonna go in with our foundation and i'm gonna make sure that we have some flawless skin so i'm gonna go in with fit me by maybelline this is super affordable um, i'm using the shade 220 natural beige i've been totally eager to try it just because I always see my brother's girlfriend I need to stop calling her my brother's girlfriend I haven't seen Karen um, use this a lot I really bought this because I was like, fuck, I need something really quick. But um, it's really affordable and it works really great. I really like the coverage but we're just going to go ahead and apply a generous amount and literally just start blotting away. I like going over my lips as well. It almost gives them a nude look. Um, literally, sometimes I'll just put chapstick over it, not going to lie. I love how it kind of looks a little heroin chic, you know? Um, but, oh, this facial hair is so annoying. I normally don't really wear foundation when I have facial hair because it just doesn't look good. In my opinion, I like to have my skin nice and smooth because it makes the um, foundation and makeup look a lot nicer. So now that we have our foundation on, I like going in with my contour after. I know some people do underneath and then they go in with their foundation over it. Nami. I just really like making sure it's blended into the hairline too because and around the neckline. We don't want to look crazy, you know. Alrighty. So now that our foundation is on, don't judge me. This palette is really gross. I've had it for a while, but it's the Anastasia palette. This is the medium one. Um, I really like it. I like doing cream first, and sometimes if I want to get a little crazy, I'll do the powder over it. Um, but I seriously love the cream one. They blend out so well. Don't be scared, because they do tend to look a little scary when you first go in, but definitely not the case. So I seriously just found this brush not too long ago and I thought this was a genius. So this is Blank Canvas Cosmetics. Um, this is F33. I love this kind of concave angle to the brush. I just washed them so they might be a little funky, but um, I love this concave angle because it really helps sculpt out your face. Um, I tend to apply on the hairline, um, in the cheekbone, and then again, because I do have a very strong jawline, so it gives it a smaller illusion. Um, but yeah, I like going in with this shade right here. This is the lightest of the dark ones. I like starting off with the lightest and then going in darker. I'm going to only go up to the middle one. If I was going out, I'd probably go to the really dark one. But um, I'm just trying to do a little bit more of a natural makeup look today. I'm not trying to look extra, you know. So um, we're going to go ahead and go in with the brush, making sure that we saturate it well enough. Like I said, less is more. So I like going a little bit higher than where your cheekbone is because we are going to buff it out. Um, so I like to just kind of start from the hairline out and then um, same thing up here. Let's see here. So if you can like just like seeing me straight on, you can see that I have this kind of angle going on right here. I want to make sure that we smooth it out. So I'm going to kind of bring it up a little bit. So because I have foundation on this acts like a highlight right now and you kind of see how it's kind of starting to taper my jawline in a little bit. I think this is seriously the best the best product, I guess, that someone who is transgender could really have because definitely love having a strong bone structure. But as a trans woman and trying to look a lot more feminine, this is definitely a little tricky sometimes. I like using the remainder right on my nose. I never start off on my nose because I don't want to overdo the product. 
um, I mean, you always have concealer, concealer to fall back on at the end, because I end up using concealer after this, um, these steps anyways. Now that I have my lightest shade of contour applied, I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out with this MAC 129 brush. Um, I love going from the temple area into my cheekbone, just because it gives you this really nice, um, diffusion. Um, if you start off in the front, it'll look a lot stronger in through here because you're building up all the product in through here versus building up over here and kind of fading it inward. Um, but let's go ahead and buff her out. It's like brushes like falling apart. So buff, 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 buff. Want to make sure it's nice and blended. Seriously, changing before your eyes. Like Jeepers, like what were we doing before we even had contour? Like I don't even remember. Like, what is life without contour? Like, this is just giving you a really nice dimension, to be honest. And once we put in the highlight part, everything's just going to pop a little bit more. Already looking so much better. Um, so next I want to go in with a darker shade um, of the Anastasia palette. So I'm going to go in and get this middle color. So we have um, cinnamon, chocolate, and ash brown. I just used cinnamon, and now we're going to go in with chocolate. Okay, so we just want to go right underneath where we just applied the last color. Um, I don't really like doing this really dark shade on my hairline. Or I should say, yeah, my hairline. Um, just because I don't want to overdo it, I just like giving my cheekbones this very, this very lifted effect. It's gonna help give you more of that like sucked in look. You know, it's like so in because like all the models have it. But I definitely love doing a little bit more darker right in the crevices of my cheeks. Um, again, from the temple out or from the temple in we're gonna buff this chocolate in um if you can see they're just like marrying each other they're like oh my god we love each other like let's put a ring on it so blend 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 like what like what all right so now that we have blended out all our contour we are gonna go in with our concealer um i'm gonna just use the same one that i used for my eyebrows um and we are going to apply it in specific areas um so we want to start off by doing the under eye so there's one. So you typically want to put the lighter shades on things that you want to stand out, and then you want to apply darker colors to things that you want to recede. I mean, it's all about illusion. So we're just trying to create the illusion that my face is a little bit longer than what it is. Um, also, we want to do the chin. And then we'll hold this one out for a little bit. Um, but we want to make sure that we do the bridge of the nose. And then we want to bring it up into the forehead. Thanks real tribal right now so let me blend this out really quick and then i'll show you this other really cool technique that i use to really help define the cheekbone a little bit more i am going to go in and i'm actually going to use this contour palette now so this is the tartiste contour um i really love this palette it has some really great colors and it smells so good it smells like sweet and i'm just a sweet kind of girl and it just works bomb so i'm going to go in with the lighter darker of the two and i'm just going to slightly tap into it because I don't want to really overdo this either. I don't know about you guys, but does your guys' nose get drippy when you guys do makeup? Like, so freaking weird. I feel like a drug addict or something, but like, seriously, like, my nose, I don't know if it's maybe I'm allergic to something or what, but my nose gets really drippy. It's weird. So I didn't do anything that you guys think that I did. Okay. So same brush that we used to blend out the contour. I'm just going to go in and buff this color right into our cheekbone, right into the crevice of our cheekbone. So that is already giving us a little bit more color. It's also kind of darkening up a little bit more. And I really like it because it kind of um, softens it up a little bit more, to be honest. Not so much in color, but from the concealer to where we were just contouring, it just kind of helped blur that out a little bit more. So now that we defined our cheekbones a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this Morphe M330 brush. Um, I'm going to go in with the same color and seriously don't even want to put too, too crazy much in there. But I'm just going to help define my nose a little bit more. Just because I want to get this nose all snatched up. <laughs> snatch your nose up, girl. Snatch them. Like, what a transformation. This fucking crease. You guys, there's this wrinkle on one side if you guys can tell when i try to lift both my eyebrows up only one really lifts up and anytime i do my makeup i seriously have to like block the crap out of it throughout the whole process just because it starts creasing in there but that's where the setting powder comes in because seriously it changed my life like i need to get botox or something because this is not okay this is like really fucked <laughs> okay so now that we got our concealer all on i'm actually gonna go in with the concealer stick and you want to be really careful when you do this because you don't want to overdo it either i'm actually gonna take a little bit off just so i'm not like overdoing it but literally i'm gonna go in from the back of my um ear and go forward drawing literally a straight line kind of like you're trying to connect 
the crazy, huh? So after this, we want to make sure that we blend it out. I already started putting a little setting powder on this. I'm just going to use it up really quick so that I could use it to blend it out. But um, I'm just going to put a little setting powder right under my eyes. Let that kind of start baking a little bit. I don't really like baking too much, to be honest, because just really don't feel like it makes that much of a difference. If anything, I feel like pressing the setting powder into the skin is the real key to setting the makeup. Again, this little crease, you guys, it's killing me. So now that I look hella crazy, let's go ahead and blend this out a little bit. So now that we got our face beat, I'm going to go in and use our Born This Way by Too Faced setting powder to really lock in the makeup. It's going to really make your makeup look a lot more finished and it's going to make it last a lot longer. It's also going to help with any type of creasing. So whether it be in your left line or in your forehead, for me it's my forehead, this is, can get really messy. And I'm just going to go ahead and set my whole face with um, this Tweezer Man powder brush. I really love how nice and plush it is. It's also really nice and thick and it's really nice to um, do big areas. I'm just going to dip it into my setting powder and just really get in there and make sure that everything is nice and set. Buff away any of that excess setting powder from your under eye area. So now that our face is all set, I'm going to go in with Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. This is so great to keep your makeup in place all day. I really love that it makes your skin look like skin. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face down. It smells so good. I should probably not have my mouth open. Okay, so now that our face is all sprayed, we can go ahead and start on our eyes. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. Um, I'm going to use Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I love this packaging. It's seriously, if I was a mascara, this would be me. Like, super flashy, just so fucking cute. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and do a couple coats. Seriously, so nice. I don't have to even curl my eyelashes anymore because I did the lash lift. So, literally, miracle. So I like going in like a zigzag motion from the root up to the ends, and sometimes the ends can look a little clumpy, so I like just kind of sweeping it up. It took me a while to like get down how to apply mascara, but I really feel that the trick is to know what kind of eyelashes you have. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like it's like it grows a certain way, and then it's a type of texture. It's just like hair um, on your head. It has like a certain growth pattern as well, and I just feel like you have to know which way your eyelashes lay and which um, direction they prefer, because it's better to just go with it than to fight it. I feel like mine tend to kind of like to kind of come out of where they're growing. Some people's kind of like sweep to the side. It's crazy. I really feel that that zigzag motion on top of it all just really takes the fucking cake. With lower lashes, it's always a little tricky. So if you saw at first, I kind of went in a more vertical um, motion, still going in a horizontal back and forth kind of motion, but with holding the um, applicator um, in a more vertical direction, just to kind of apply the product on first. And then you, it's really awesome because then you could like brush it down, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, getting in a heart attack, so scary. It's really hard to get in those nooks and crannies sometimes. I typically scrape off half of the product so that there's product built up on one side and then you could use the other side to rake up the product. And when you're raking up, there's no crazy amount of product on there so that it could like even have a chance to do that. So what next? We cannot forget the highlighter. Like we definitely need to do some highlighting up in here. So to make these cheeks extra bomb, we're gonna use this beautiful color by Becca. This is Smoky Quartz. Oh my god, I love quartz. This is Smoky Quartz. I seriously, once I used this highlighter, there was nothing that like literally compared. It is so gorgeous. I seriously love it. So I'm just gonna go in with this little fan brush. Um, I think I got this at Target. This is Real Techniques. So honey, if you are on a budget, this is a great one. I seriously been using it for forever, um, but I love it so much. But... <laughs> So fucking pretty. So I seriously go crazy with this because I just love glowing. And I mean, this is super natural, okay? So it's like, the LEDs glow a little. Like, can you guys see that? You could probably see me from like a mile away. Like, so I'm totally to put some right on my nose. And I like using my finger for this one because. So before we go any further, let's not forget about the brow pomade. I totally forgot to do this um, after I did my eyebrows. I just had it in my purse, so I had to kind of go grab it real quick. But um, 
this is so fucking amazing i seriously love this stuff like i was saying it holds your eyebrows in place i really love this like 70s like super shaggy eyebrow kind of look um not only that but i feel that it really keeps your eyebrow looking sharp and clean throughout the whole day so that none of those hairs move or anything like that so gonna just be the finishing little touch for the brows okay so that is done i'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes and i'll be right back So if you're seriously trying to improve your lash game, seriously look at this lash. If I look down, you can't really see a thing. So the trick is to put it underneath. So if you can see, I literally put my eyelash under from the root part of my lash. Um, so I went ahead and I put one on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other one. Alrighty, you guys, so now that I have my lashes on, I am all set. I went ahead and I put a little bit of Tarte's birthday suit on my lips. This is actually something that I got um, as a birthday gift. Um, they were so sweet and they hooked it up the day I went in there. Um, so thank you a lot, Sephora. Um, you guys are fucking badass. I'm so glad that I made this video. I specifically was planning on gearing it towards trans women um, just because I found it very difficult to find some makeup look that worked for me that, no offense, didn't make me feel either like a drag queen you or like work. I was just trying too hard. Um, so I definitely wanted to gear this towards, like I said, my sisters. But I mean, this is not necessarily just for them. This is for anybody who likes, you know, simple makeup, cute, you know, a little glam, but definitely simple, easy, and fun. I really, really, really enjoyed making this video. So if you guys want me to recreate any looks or have any suggestions on what I should do next, um, if you guys think I shouldn't even fucking do this anymore, let me know. Um, but please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys really like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, definitely we'll be posting pretty frequently. So if you subscribe, you will definitely be getting those notifications. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on my next video.